So what if you turned on your devices only to find there was nothing to log into? Accounts gone. Your most important assets vanished. Maybe it's an error, a goof, a hack, or maybe your face just didn't fit anymore. You're bad. What can you really do about it? Maybe elaborate local backups, NAS drives, redundancy, cloud backup for your cloud backup. Sorry, but I need backup. But how do you rebuild your life after an email provider pulls the plug? Or social media or messaging or your professional networks? Maybe it's not the whole hog either. Maybe it's just that one digital asset you really need just at the right time. Okay, maybe decentralization is the answer. Why put these things on centralized services when we've got Web3? We're going to decentralize your core. It won't happen on a permissionless network, right? No centralized servers, but hold on. You may have the keys, you may know the address, but the actual data, where is it really? It's someone else's pocket it's in. And maybe he's probably called Jeff. It's uh, Jeff Bezos. It's for all these reasons why we need a very different kind of network, a new protocol for how the internet must function. It's about what comes after Web3 and what will fit the bill for the next 50 years of the internet. We build data storage into the very fabric of the web. Have the internet do it. The future security of your life, your privacy, your sovereignty over your own decisions shouldn't ride on platforms owned by other people. It should be enshrined by fundamental protocols, human rights upheld by the code that makes the web. Don't settle for the cloud or Web3, demand autonomy. And for that, you'll need an autonomous network. And this isn't some far off concept, it's real, it's here. We've got dozens of projects building on top of the autonomy network as we speak. But tell us, who do you trust with your data, your online life, Jeff or somebody else? Let us know in the comments.